President Trump will lose all the powers that come with the presidency, like vetoing bills and getting to pick the in-flight movie on Air Force One. But even worse for Trump is that he will lose the power to pardon people. So he might take advantage of it while he still can. In another sign, President Trump is preparing for life after the White House. Multiple sources telling NBC News he's considering preemptive pardons for his three eldest children, his son-in-law and other close associates. Yep, you heard that right. Trump might preemptively pardon Ivanka, Don Jr., Eric, and Jared. Which is groundbreaking, because this could be the first time in history that Trump gives all his kids the same gift. Because when they were growing up, they'd get different presents, you know? Like, Ivanka would get a horse, and then Eric would get a shovel to scoop up horse shit. But the big question is, is it legal for Trump to pardon his own children? Well, to help me answer that, let's turn to our own senior legal correspondent, Desi Lydic. Desi, this seems really shady. I mean, if Trump pardons all of his kids, isn't that basically admitting that they are criminals? No, of course not, Trevor. Sounds like someone didn't go to law school. I didn't either, but I partied there. The fact is, these pardons are preemptive, right? That doesn't mean they're criminals. It means they're pre-criminals. And in a way, we're all pre-criminals. I mean, are you telling me that you know for sure that you would never get into a bar fight or help a friend knock over a bank? Yeah, I, I know I'm not gonna rob a bank. All right. Guess I'll find someone else. Okay, but Desi, what about the fact, what about the fact that this could be a blanket pardon? Like, it could cover literally any crime. Yeah, but that's a good thing. See, we don't know what they've done yet, but they might not know either. I mean, there could be so many crimes that you could commit without even realizing it. They could go after Don Jr. for not filling out every tax form perfectly or, you know, hunting a rhinoceros because it was in the zoo. That's just not right, Trevor. In America, we don't want to send innocent people to jail. And this is in Africa. Wow, okay. All right, okay, but then let me ask you this, Desi. At the very least, you have to admit that this is hypocritical. I mean, Trump's whole deal is he's the law and order president. Now he's using his power to subvert the justice system. Right, but this is law and order. He's bringing the people outside the law back into the law, which allows them to order lunch because they won't be in jail. Law and order. That is not what law and order means. Again, Trevor, you're not a lawyer. I'm on the board at Columbia Law School. There's a cork board that says, if you see this woman, call campus security. But Desi, if all the Trump kids are so clearly innocent, then why can't they just trust the justice system to prove it? Uh, are you kidding? Because once Joe Biden takes power, he and the Democrat deep state are just gonna use the justice system to get revenge, that's why. I mean, that's the way that it works around here. In America, so many innocent people get sent to jail. And this is in Africa. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go. Ronnie's waiting for me at the Wells Fargo. See, he's a real friend. Desi, Desi, please don't rob a bank with Ronnie, please. No, 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 Trevor, it's fine. See, coworkers don't have to testify against each other. It's a perfect crime. No, Desi, I don't, I don't think that's true. I might have to testify, oh man, I gotta stop asking her for legal questions. <laughs>